The vast majority of news in the U.S. is controlled by five huge corporations, and News Voice is fighting back against media monopolies. It's the first ever entirely open, crowdsourced, democratized platform for news. Use the link right underneath this video to download the News Voice app for free. Uh, there's a new report that, if true, is the most shocking revelation in the entire Jamal Khashoggi fiasco since its inception. And if this is actually true, it's actually arguably much worse than the Ukraine scandal, which is already a major, major scandal. The Spectator is reporting that whistleblowers can allege with evidence that's whistleblowers plural that Donald Trump's son in law, Jared Kushner, personally gave the green light, personally okayed on the phone with Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman to go ahead and arrest journalist Jamal Khashoggi who of course we know after being arrested was killed and dismembered at the Saudi Arabian consulate in Istanbul, Turkey. Um, the gravity of this is, is almost inconceivable. Two of the whistleblowers out of the seven that are involved generally in this report from the spectator, two of the whistleblowers involved here reportedly are in agreement about this. And it is apparently not just an assertion, but one of the two whistleblowers says, that an intercepted phone call that is in the possession of Turkish intelligence uh, actually is the conversation during which this took place. The phone call is reportedly between Jared Kushner himself and Mohammed bin Salman himself. And I have even more to discuss with this because of something that I said uh, a little while back. The existence of this phone call is said to have been the way that Turkish President Erdogan was able to convince or strong arm Donald Trump into pulling troops from Syria. Now, this is still early, but that allegation is one that I hypothesized about at the start of the Syria fiasco. And a lot of people wrote to me saying, David, that is baseless speculation and you are wrong to do it. Well, it's certainly speculative. This is an analysis and commentary show, and that's one of the things that we do. We speculate, but there were reasons to do that speculation, primarily that there was no sensible explanation for the timing of Donald Trump's decision to pull troops from Syria. This is my clip from three weeks ago, and a lot of people were angry with me for it. Take a listen. And then we start to speculate. Does Erdogan have something so bad on the killing of Jamal Khashoggi? that if it were to get out, it would be even more devastating that Donald Trump didn't do a damn thing about it, instead selling more weapons to Saudi Arabia. It's a possibility. Yeah, that is now exactly what is being alleged, that Erdogan has something so bad on Trump that Trump's son in law personally okayed to Mohammed bin Salman the arrest of Jamal Khashoggi in this case, which led to Khashoggi's killing, that he was able to force Donald Trump to pull troops out of Syria. So there are actually two scandals here, and the reporting that I'm seeing is mostly about just one of those scandals. So scandal number one, if indeed Jared Kushner, Trump's son in law, unelected, not confirmed by the Senate, an advisor to Donald Trump, if Jared Kushner personally told Mohammed bin Salman to go ahead and arrest a Washington Post journalist, that is a scandal of the highest degree. We are talking colloquially. I'm not making a legal argument. I'm not a lawyer. We are talking colloquially about conspiracy to commit murder, although, of course, they'll never be held accountable. We know that. But it goes further than that. If this phone call being recorded put Turkey in a position to be able to strong arm Donald Trump to have hazardly pull troops from northern Syria in direct contradiction to what any of Donald Trump's generals or the Pentagon or the State Department were suggesting, which led to the deaths of Kurds. It's leading to the possible resurgence of ISIS. It is an absolute travesty and a tragedy of foreign policy, and it is the complete subjugation of the office of the presidency at our expense for the benefit of foreign governments. Now, we have to be careful here because this is one story from The Spectator. We want corroboration of the story. We eventually ideally will get the actual whistleblower testimony on this because it's not just if the story is false. If even some element of the story is not exactly as described, we already know that the Trumpists will jump all over it as fake news, as evidence of the media's corruption. And even if the story is off by a fraction, they will discredit the entire thing. 
But the truth is the opposite. If even a fraction of this story is true, if one whistleblower says Kushner okayed the arrest of Jamal Khashoggi instead of two, if Turkey did strong arm Trump on troops in Syria using anything related to Khashoggi, if any element of this story is true, it is a scandal of the highest order that I mean, listen, I'm still trying to process the entire thing. And with scandal fatigue, they all start to sort of blend together. But my immediate impression is that this is arguably bigger than any other scandal of the Trump presidency because of the gravity and disgusting vile nature of it. That is what is being alleged as of right now. By the time you listen to this, by the time you watch this, maybe we will know more in a week. Who knows what we will know? But this is number one, not very different from what we have suspected for a very long time with regard to the Turkish strong arming of Trump. And Jared Kushner is unelected. He was not confirmed by the Senate. It is the cronyistic nepotism that Donald Trump, I guess, said he was going to eliminate by draining the swamp and blah, 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 all of that stuff. It hasn't happened. It's worse than we could have ever imagined.